because I want you to have that giant platform. I want the black Google sized company, black Facebook sized platform to exist with a billion users and every and, and it being um, something that's just a foundational part of society. When I think about those companies, when you think about Google, you think about Facebook, you think about Amazon. I want to I want your insight into whether there's a way that it, you can have a giant tech company that doesn't make its money selling people's personal info or exploiting, you know, labor and you know, killing off retail. Like, like what? It, like, I wonder if you have any insight or any ideas about how you can exist at that scale and mm. not be predatory almost by nature. Yeah, I would. I would say there's certainly a way to get to that scale. Now, that level of profit. Mm. No. Gotcha. Um, so I would say Wikipedia is at that scale, right? Nice. Um, I feel like, there's plenty of platforms that are at that scale, but aren't like white supremacy bad got you <laughs> you know yeah, um, yeah. But so i think that uh when you tar- tar- start talking about profits you got to ask yourself well, how are we getting these profits like mm-hmm. there's only so like apple is sitting on more money than the u.s government in cash cash mm-hmm. right like how why where did that co- like what so um yes that's my answer is we can get to the scale we can get to that level of people engaging, using, connecting without necessarily sacrificing the impact in the original mission of the, of the company. And I think that has to do with not being greedy right. with, mm-hmm. with the profits. Right, okay. I get that. So it's, in a way, it's about the relationship that the company has to its users. Right, mm-hmm. right. Okay, thank you. That's and the, fantastic. And I, and I think it's corporate greed. I mean, I really mm-hmm. do. I think, you know, when you look at these salaries that people get paid, um, and the pressure that people are under to turn profits quarter over quarter over quarter. It's just like, why, you know, like, so maybe I'm, I'm not there, so I can't see it. I'll mm-hmm. leave it for that, but, uh, we're very long way away. And until then I'm going to stick with, uh, doing good. Nice. And with that, uh, we know you got to go. I want to give you a chance real quick to give a couple of shout outs if you want, um, shout outs to people, um, who are making similar moves to yourself in your industry, but also just anybody in doing anything that makes you happy that you, that you would like to share with anybody listening. Couple shout outs. One shout out to Mike for calling me about uh, how Funny or Die can help. Mike Farah, that is. Mike Farah, yeah. yes, indeed. Um, you know, we wouldn't be here if he hadn't just taken a chance as a white heterosexual man to just say, what should we do? You know, and I think that uh, I like that white people are doing that right now. So shout out to Mike. <laughs> um, and two, I want to say char- shout out to actually two people, uh, Charlemagne and Angela Rye. I think that they have both been mm. carrying a ton of weight for our community lately. Um, mm-hmm. I can't even imagine. I mean, I was just texting with Angela earlier today. Like the level of care and intensity that they've both been operating lately is um, phenomenal. And I don't think we give them enough roses. Um and then, yeah, I mean, I also just shout out my team, you know, like yes. my team has been yes, carrying indeed. a ton of weight as well. We had to make budget cuts because of COVID and add, you know, revenue going down and it's been brutal, uh, but they've been showing up more than ever. And I'm just so grateful to have a beautiful, smart, um, hardworking, dedicated team. Well, we're grateful to um, be able to be involved with you and your company. Um, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's inspiring to listen yes. to you speak about how you think about what your company can be and its place in the world. And and I'm so glad that you think at the scale you think at. Yes. And it's, um you know, that's, that's something that I think would in- inspire anybody. Yeah. I like the way you think you make, you make me feel galvanized, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you're, you're kind of like the Oracle. That's how I'm going to see you from now on. It's like, ah, oh, what does Morgan think one day? You're going to be like, why is he calling me? Uh, Morgan Debon, everybody, thank you so much for being here. Um, obviously, uh, Morgan can be followed on Twitter at Morgan Debon, D-E-B-A-U-N.